All right, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, an animated image view. So this would be like a simple animation. For this example, uh, I have a, a run sequence for Sonic the Hedgehog, and we're going, to, we're going to animate him, but then we're going to control the speed of the animation with a UI slider. And the UI slider is something new. Um, we haven't used it yet, but uh, we're going to use it in this example. So let's uh, grab... What you want to do is you want to pop up on my website, the class website. It's uh, garahan.org. So hop on there. And this week's lesson is core animations. All right. Uh, yeah, the reason we're going here is because we got to get those images. Uh, what is this? So just drag these images to the stage. There's seven of them. And what I did is I got a a sprite sheet of Sonic and I had to cut out all these images uh, for you guys. Um, so if you find a GIF on the internet, I think you can get the images for that, but you're welcome to use another image sequence. Uh, if you do find another image sequence on the internet, make sure you name them like this, like image one or or like Sonic 1, Sonic 2, something short, because you got to type in this uh, image.1, image.2 for each image, so keep it short. Okay, now I got the images. All eight of them. Now we're going to open up a new Xcode project. Where is my Xcode project? There we go. Create a new project. Uh, once again, we're using the view-based application for iPhone. And I'm going to call this, uh, let's call it Sonic Speed. All right. So first step, let's grab all our Sonic images and drag them into the resources folder. We need them all into the resources folder. Now you can make other folders inside of here. One thing to note about this resource folder is this is not the actual structure of the file structure. So if you start deleting things in the file structure, it can get messed up. Like if you delete this, it won't delete the actual file. Um, so it's a bit, it's a bit strange that resource folder. Okay, so first step, let's add some items to our header file. Delete my comments here. Okay, so in this example, what do we need? We need a box to hold Sonic. So we'll do a UI image view. We're going to have his animation run in that. Uh, we'll call this uh, Sonic. Uh, and then we need a slider. We haven't used a slider. The slider is a uh, iPhone... Uh, uh, Coco Touch uh, component that lets you, uh, it, it slides up and down and it outputs a, a number. You'll see that when we open up Interface Builder. Uh, we need a label to print out that, uh, that stuff. I'll just call this my label for now. Okay, and the prop, oop, we'll make our properties non atomic and retain that in memory. And we need to set IB outlets so we can uh, see it in in uh, Interface Builder. Now, one of the students from class today showed me a really cool trick. If you hold down Option, you can select and then copy and paste. So, what if you hold down Option, it lets you actually like grab a a square of code instead of copying line for line. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat little tool. But I uh, forgot some spaces here. So yeah, we have our image view, UI slider, and UI label. So let's save that. I'm going to go ahead and just hop over to the M and just synthesize these, these before we get started. So underneath implementation, we need to synthesize. What did we have? We had Sonic. We had my label. And last, remember if you hold command option up, you can switch back between your H and your M files. It's very easy if you forget what you named things, which I'm constantly forgetting uh, what I've written. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now, now we're at a good state. Let's go to our resource folder and Oh, I didn't put those in there. Let's drag them in there. Go to Sonic Speed View Controller, and that'll queue up Interface Builder. 
Okay, so we need to make those things. Let me get my view. So we need an image view for Sonic. We'll just put that right there. And we need a label. This is going to print out what is in our, our slider. And then we need the slider. So this is the slider element. Displays a continuous range of values and allows a selection of a single value. Yep. Um, stretch that out. Now, one thing we need to set up for the slider. So the slider has some properties. It has this value function. This is the minimum value of the slider, the maximum value of the slider, and what it what its initial value. So right now, so we want to make the maximum since this this is going to translate to how fast Sonic is animating. So he'll animate once every second at the at the max. Why don't we make that once every two seconds? Oops. And then we want to make the low end, we'll do 0.5. So what's that, like a, a 20th of a second? And the initial will be 50. Uh, you'll kind of understand that when we, when we print it out in our label here. Uh, OK, now we need to hook things up. Uh, we need to go to our files owner, and, and in class, it looks like you guys are getting good at this, right-clicking on the files owner. Uh, we need to drag the label to our label, slider to the slider component, and then Sonic is going to be this UI image view. And we're not going to put an image in it right now. We're going to do that with code. So from this point, please go ahead and save and quit. Now, I like to save and quit before I get do Xcode just because Interface Builder can be a little weird sometimes, and it's best just to save it and quit before you do the code. All right. Oops. Now, in our M, we're going to do the programming to, to tell Sonic what to do. So just you can delete these comments except uh, the deallocate comment just so we can see nice and easy what we're doing. All right, so we're going to use the view did load. I'm using escape to get my uh, the correct function names because I have a, I have a hard time remembering all those names. I don't. I need uh, help, and escape is a good way to to get help. Oh, another tip that uh, we didn't talk about in class: if you if you hold down on option and double click on the, the function name, you get a little cheat sheet which will tell you about that. So view did load is called after the controller's view is loaded into memory. And then you can even click on this book to get even more information about it. And then that, that pulls up the, the Apple developer, which uh, honestly I think the, I have a little hard time with their documentation. It's, I don't know if it's just too complicated or it's just not, I, I just, when I go there I have trouble finding what I'm looking for. But yeah, option and then click on the item. It gives you a little description of what.